today we'll be talking about the stop limit order type now one good thing that is worth mentioning is that if you know how to use all of these other types okay you will never lose money as a trader because just like the stop limit stop limit order allows you to lock in profit for yourself okay you can either use it to buy or sell at a price that is lower than the current market price or a price that is higher than the current market price and the way i personally use the stop limit order is i use them mostly when i want to sell my asset okay so to show you an example once i select the stop limit order i have the option to set the stop price and then the limit price and put in the amount at which i want to sell okay 80 percent of the time i use stop limit to sell any asset that i've bought so this way the way i can use this is let's assume that i bought btc at the current market price okay and then i'm very sure that btc will continue to go up okay that is after doing your analysis you are sure that btc will continue to go up now one thing i want to do is let's assume that there is a resistance at seventeen thousand. okay meaning that there is every probability that btc will go to seventeen thousand and start retracing back so instead of losing because I bought at 16800 instead of losing completely, because you may not be there when the swing happened in the market. So instead of losing completely, I want to secure some profit for myself. So what I can do is to use the stop limit, okay, to secure profit for myself. So what I would do now is to put the stop price and then put a limit price. So at 17000 now remember we bought at the current price, which is 16800 So I'll put the stop at 17000 okay. And then I want a limit order to be placed for me when the market drops to 16,900. Okay, so I'll put a stop limit to when it drops to 16,900, it automatically be executed for me. Then put in the amount of BTC you want to trade. This could be any token of your choice. So uh, for instance, I'll just put in two BTC here. All right. So in this case, once it goes and touch this resistance level which we just um, i just said once you do your analysis you'll be able to know where those levels are then you place your stop limit okay at that level and then when it draws by maybe two three percent or thereabout it goes ahead and trigger okay it, it, it automatically plays a sell limit of 16900 so when the price gets to 16900 automatically that um it is executed for you and then the money is returned in either usd or busd into your account okay that is how you use the stop limit you can equally use the stop limit to buy all right for instance if i come to the chart option here once i'm at the chart here okay maybe you do your analysis and you see that there is a resistance at this level okay and there is a support at this level so you want to cash out with a breakout either the market break upward or it break downward so you want to determine where to break to and then set your stop limit to either buy lower okay or buy at this stop because if it breaks up here if for instance this is a resistance there's a probability that when it breaks up here it will continue to go up so you want to buy and then sell higher or when it comes down here you want to buy okay and wait for the price to go up and sell all right that is how you use the stop limit to buy so if you come back to the buy option here you can put a stop limit at the current price is this so we can put a stop limit either lower than this current price or higher than this current price it all depends on where you spot your resistance or your breakout or um, on the resistance level or the support level okay so that case you go ahead and put the stop price and then you put your limit price that way when the market hits that target automatically the limit price you put here will be triggered and you can buy a coin at that level all right so make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more videos like this and if there is anything you are stuck with always leave a comment and i will be able to clarify by answering to those comments